Hi, my name is Micah Gaoka from Waipahu High School, and I'm here with Senator Gabbard. So, how do you feel about the invasive speci species? Invasive species. Well, actually, Micah Gill, we had an informational briefing uh, last week about invasive species, and it's a very important issue. A lot of folks don't really realize how important the issue is. Um, the Department of Agriculture actually brought in live specimens. Have you ever heard of a Madagascar hissing cockroach? Have you ever? <laughs> no. <laughs> Most people haven't. It's about this big, and when you shake it, it, gets, it starts hissing like a snake. And they brought in uh, koki frogs and pythons and all these different uh, types of invasive animals. But there's also invasive plants such as myconia, which is a very serious threat to our watershed. So the reason I had the informational briefing was to give the opportunity to folks who are working to eradicate these invasive species an opportunity to, to tell us all about the important work that they're doing. And the reason why it's so important is because it affects uh, our economy, our environment, and our very way of life. So it's, uh, you know, imagine tourists coming to Hawaii and, and not being able to see all the lushness of the green mountains, et cetera. And, and so one of the things that they showed me was uh, they had a, one of the things that they're dealing with are, are feral uh, uh, pigs and feral goats. And when these animals are allowed to just run free on the watershed, it really ruins our tropical rainforest. And, uh, and so there's a, a very comprehensive fencing program that's going on on each of the islands uh, to keep the uh, feral animals out of the forest. Because uh, it was like before and after, you showed a picture of this beautiful lush forest, and then next to it, there's the fence. And then on the other side, it was just like, it looked like a pigsty, just mud and, and, and very little plant life. So these are the things, they don't, it's not in the news very much, but it's so important that we give uh, additional funding to these groups um, to make sure that uh, these invasive species are kept out of Hawaii. Uh, one of the things that each of us can do as, as uh, residents of Hawaii Ne is to um, ourselves not bring in any invasive species. Sometimes, you know, you, you I mean, last year when we had this informational briefing, uh, we had a, the, the skeleton of a nine-foot crocodile that showed up in, in uh, Kauainui Marsh in, in Kailua. Now, you know, <laughs> these are not indigenous. We don't have crocodiles. Somebody brought in that crocodile, right? And it was uh, many years ago, but that's the kind of things that can happen here if we are not vigilant and do all that we can to protect our beautiful island paradise that we live in. And so uh, that's why I had, it was the second annual uh, informational um, briefing on the uh, invasive species. And, and as I promised at that briefing, that after our legislative session is over in early May, I plan to visit each of the counties and to actually f see firsthand myself uh, the important work that these folks are doing. Uh, I am the chair of the Senate Energy and Environment Committee. And while I'm committed to uh, doing all we can uh, to help us uh, have more clean, renewable energy, I'm very concerned about the environment and the invasive species is a very uh, important part of protecting our environment, keeping those guys, those critters out of Hawaii, whether they're plants or animals. Do you have any suggestions or ideas to reduce the invasive species count? Well, yeah, one of the things that we have to do is, uh, again, again, it gets back to funding. You know, we have inspectors, ag inspectors, and we, you can't, when you cut, start cutting budgets, you can't just cut these guys out because they are the safeguard that we have at the airports and in the harbors to make sure that these guys don't come in. You may have seen uh, right around Christmas, every time, every Christmas season when we start importing all these Christmas trees, and you have these inspectors that they're down at the docks opening up the containers, and they said, oh, we found this particular kind of slug, or we found this, or we found that. Unless those inspectors are there, guess what? Those animals are coming in here and they could wreak havoc on our ecosystem so it's just it's so important that we not lose sight of the fact that when you live in paradise you have to do all that you can do to protect paradise from these outside invasive species i have researched that you're in a committee for um energy and mm -hmm. environment mm -hmm. so do you feel that hawaii needs to be more greener absolutely and that's, um, I start my fifth year uh, as the chair of the Energy Environment Committee. And my mission in life, one of my main missions in life right now, is to get us off of our foreign addiction to oil. We spend uh, 
four to six billion dollars every single year importing over 40 million barrels of oil and quite frankly that's stupid and the reason why it's stupid is because Hawaii has world-class wind world-class solar we have geothermal we have wave energy we have ocean thermal energy all built into Hawaii and we should be tapping those clean renewable energies so we can keep some of that four to six billion dollars here at home to help our economy to provide jobs for your parents your aunties your uncles and you when you graduate from high school so that's uh, we I hear from people energy experts all over the world they are looking at Hawaii uh, to be the model for the rest of the world to follow so uh, as you've probably seen if you've been out on the North Shore you've seen some of the big big wind turbines out in Kuhuku side and uh, if you go over to Maui, you also see other wind turbines there, and um, it's it's all very exciting to be a part of uh, projects that are are coming online that will help us reduce our addiction to foreign oil. So, how does it feel to have your daughter in the legislative <laughs> branch in Congress? Well, um, I'm getting used to being known as Tulsi's dad instead of a Senator Gabbard, and that's fine with me. We're just very excited for her. And we're excited for the people of Hawaii. We, uh, my wife and I, Carol, we, we were actually celebrating our 44th wedding anniversary uh, in New York City with my youngest daughter, who's a deputy U.S. Marshal there. Uh, and then we, it was New Year's Eve, and then we drove down to Washington, D.C. to be with Tulsi for her swearing-in ceremony. And she's, you know, she's just a remarkable woman. And coming uh, to us, it was such a, a shock to see, because she was such a shy kid. I mean, growing up as a teenager and... Uh, just always kind of hiding behind her little sister and never always just very embarrassed about everything and but for her to actually uh, run a successful campaign and get elected to our US Congress to represent Hawaii uh, we're just very excited for her to see that transformation was was, was really neat uh, she has a heart for public service and, and she talks about all the time that and uh, that heart is servant leadership it's, uh, it's, it's not in it for the power, not in it for the glory. She just truly and sincerely wants to serve the people of Hawaii and do what's best. And so uh, we're very excited for her.